Hello everyone and welcome back to Sly Ram Plays Watch Dogs. I'm on the second mission now. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see what it's what it's about. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. Afraid of the silence. I'm a good Parker. <laughs> well, I guess I'm supposed to go in the back. They're probably in the backyard. Thank you for being Captain Obvious. Here it goes. How old are you today? Ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, Stop. seven, Stop. eight, Stop. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. Uh, I killed your sister. So, <laughs> an entire year. And I think that's what happened, at least. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, do I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm going to speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I wonder if the voice actor had a cold the entire time he was voice acting this guy. Watching out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here. It was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. You're not talking. We all did. You sound like you're talking, but there's no blip movement. You guys saw the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and mom were both sick as dogs, but dad insisted his boy was going to have his birthday cake? Did she watch us? All burnt and lopsided. That was dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. Listen to me, I'm rambling. 
No, I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> oh, really? No, 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 don't. Listen, the police can trace this call. Oh. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. Right in front of the kid. Good parenting. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. I can't move. There you are. Where's my car at? My car went away. It's not fair. Oh god. Threats to my family. Alright, I gotta catch up to this guy. Come on. I'm a better driver than I was in the other episodes. At least I hope I am. Come on, get off the road. <laughs> oh man, come on. I almost wrecked your car. Yeah. I'm sorry, I overreacted. You just make me so crazy sometimes. Uh-huh. Come on back, okay? I yeah, I'll come back with a wrecked car. I'm sorry. I just borrowed your car for a moment. You're going after that creep, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Yep. can't believe you. It's not like that. Stop being a hero, Aiden. Dang it, go down already. What? Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. Get out of the car. You hear me perfectly. You need to stop right now. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> You're still there, I can't hear you. <laughs> Get out. That's my car. Oh, wait, no, that's not my car, but it's my car now. Yeah. Wait, I'm supposed to hack him? Alright. There we go. Well, that happened. Pay this asshole, <laughs> Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? I'm a good driver. You know, CTOS hacks. Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Loom's building a new CTOS center in the Loop. It's perfect. Dancek tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. All right. Oh, there's that mission complete. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Sorry, this is a short episode, but... Yeah, I'm going to be doing it by missions, as far as the main missions go. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.